What's up everyone? Welcome back to the first video on this channel and almost, uh, I think it's been like a year. <laughs> almost a year. Uh, I know it's been a long time and I will have to find time to explain everything and where we've been all this time, but I'm happy to be back and hopefully I can maintain at least a weekly video in this new living roster series we're going to be talking about today. So let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, the living roster is officially back. So let's start out by explaining what the living roster is for anybody stopping by my channel for the first time. The Living Roster is a video series that I started back in 2016 around the announcement of Injustice 2. Uh, in the series, I put together what I thought were reasonable predictions for the roster of that game, and the success of that series led me to creating one for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Dragon Ball Fighters, Jump Force, and a short one for Smash Bros. Ultimate. In fact, I never finished the Jump Force one either. The idea is to make a case for a set of characters and then have you, the viewer, Vote on which characters you think are most likely to make it into the roster. We'll also make attempts at trying to predict the roster size, gameplay mechanics, stories, alternative costumes, all that stuff. Now, I love making this series. It's the whole reason I started a YouTube channel. And I gotta let you guys know I'm super amped to be doing this again for multiverses. So for those of you that have been on the channel for a long time, you're probably wondering what is making me want to do this for multiverses and not for some of the other fighting games that have come out recently. Uh, it, it's hard to explain, but I'll have to do that another time. With that said, let's get to the real reason everybody came here. Multiverses. All right, so if you follow me on Twitter, which you probably don't, I've been hype as fuck about this game since, it, since the details leaked a little over a month ago. So since then, I've been waiting for confirmation, and so when Soups texted me saying Arya Stark, I knew what he was on about, immediately jumped on YouTube and searched for the video. It popped up right away. It was like a three minute and 30 second video of what I guess we could call the trailer. So they officially announced it by doing this introduction from the CEO and co-founder of Player First Games, which is actually a brand new studio with some industry professionals ranging from games like League of Legends, Overwatch, Disney Infinity, and a lot, lot more. As explained in the video, though, this game is being made with a specific focus on 2v2 cooperative play. While they will have a solo 1v1 mode and free-for-all modes, they clearly have put their effort toward making this game one of the first fighting games ever made with a specific cooperative two-player mechanic built in. In fact, they went through great lengths to show the specials of some of the characters that are specifically to help aid with your teammates. Hi, coming at you. Every character has unique moves that focus on team play. Whether that's a smoke bomb from Batman to cover your team's movement. That guy now. Steven shielding his ally for extra defense. Need a shield? Saving someone with a lasso retreat. Or using Bugs Bunny's tunnel. The better your teamwork, the better your chances are to win. You're under my protection! We built the game from the ground up for teamwork and co-op yeah. to deliver a more unique experience. We all of this is something that we'll have to take into account when we try to predict this roster. But this roster prediction for Multiverse is going to be really, really unique because for the first time, we're not pulling from a small subset of an IP. We're looking at all properties owned by Warner Brothers, which if you don't know, is a massive list of properties. Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Boomerang, Tex Avery Cartoons, Hanna-Barbera Cartoons, DC Entertainment, The CW, New Line Cinema, Warner Animation, NetherRealm Studios, Rocksteady, all of these and much, much more fall under the Warner Brothers umbrella. And if you're looking for like a specific IP, just to name a few, Game of Thrones, Dukes of Hazard, The Big Bang Theory, Full House, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Supernatural, Thundercats, Tiny Toons, Westworld, The Animaniacs, The Matrix, Mortal Kombat, The Oceans Film Series, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Friday the 13th, Ace Ventura, King Kong, Godzilla, Gremlins, Willy Wonka, Mad Max, Nightmare on Elm Street, Lego, the Lego movies and video games, Rick and Morty, Blade Runner, the Ninja Turtles movies, and Beetlejuice. And like I said, that's just to name a couple. There's so, so many more. This means that there, this means that we have a massive library of characters to pull from, and there will be a lot of things to keep in mind as we build this roster. Given the gameplay mechanics, it does seem like Multiverses is putting an emphasis on giving each character a class specialization. So far, I'm seeing five, Assassin, Bruiser, Mage, Tank, and Support. The best assumption I can make based on this is that Assassin would be your general rushdown and combo heavy character. The Bruisers would be more focused on big damage and hits. Tanks would probably focus on taking damage and having good resilience. Mages are the range class. 
And support seems to be simply things like giving shields, providing health bonuses, and stuff like that. So whatever characters we pick, we need to make sure fit into one of these categories. And since, and since this is the first episode, we're not going to start it by making any predictions. I will say that when the game was leaked, there were two characters missing that showed up in the trailer, and there are two characters missing from the trailer that showed up in the leak. So the characters that weren't in the leak were Arya Stark, who was confirmed in the trailer, and another Steven Universe character that I don't remember her name right off the top of my head right this moment while I'm recording. But the characters that were in the leak that didn't show up in the trailer were Rick Sanchez, Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty and Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. I think it's safe to say that those characters will make it into the roster, so I think we can start with a roster of 16. So with that in mind, this is the living roster as it exists right now. I'm going to provide a few empty slots, but we'll have to decide on how many we think is worth predicting before the game launches sometime next year. All right, that's everything. You guys can see the character select screen, or at least what we're going to be using for the living roster. I did try to make one using the character select screen they showed in the trailer, but I just think it's too cluttered with information. That doesn't make it a bad character select screen for what it is. It's just for our purposes, I don't really like all the clutter. So I'm making one kind of from scratch using their character select screen as a base. With that, guys, I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming by. If you made it this far into the video, you're likely somebody that's been watching the content for a long time. I appreciate all your support. Those of you guys that have hung around as long as you have, really, really appreciate that. I'm super excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Make sure to get involved. Let me know down in the comments what characters and properties you expect to see appear, what you're excited about with the game, all that good stuff. Like the video. You know what it is. All that said, thank you guys for coming by. My name is Spada, and until next time, later.